Happy Tuesday, everyone. Well, are you ready to unlock the door to your very first home? Well, if you're a first time home buyer, you've come to the right place because today we're embarking on an exciting journey together as we delve into the world of home ownership with local real estate agent and all around beautiful person, Annette Granger. Hi, Annette. Hi, <laughs> thank you for having me. I'm so excited that you're here because I think a lot of people need the information that you're about to drop on us, okay? So we're focusing on first time home buyer today. Um, very exciting for a lot of people, but it also can be so overwhelming. So how do we know, let's start with purchasing power and what we can afford. You know, I think it's so important just from the very beginning of the process that you are connecting yourself with trusted advisors, mm. a trusted realtor and a trusted lender. They're going to help you. Your lender is going to help you through that process of looking into your financials so that you are very comfortable and you know what you can afford, whether it's a fee simple house or a condo, because you have to remember in condos and townhouses, those monthly fees can take some of your purchasing power. Oh. And I know you're not going to toot your own horn, but I really think having the right real estate real estate agent makes such a difference because when I was a first time home buyer I didn't know any of these things and he really guided me and helped me do mm -hmm. a lot of things I wasn't sure about like let's talk about the difference in getting pre-qualified and pre-approved I still really don't even know what that means well think about the word approval and that's going to help you remember it because pre-approved is so much more powerful than pre-qualified mm -hmm. pre-qualified they've just you know the lender has listened to what you've told them. Uh, they have not really looked into any of your financials. Pre-approval, very powerful. Mm -hmm. That means you've turned in certain documents. The lender has looked at them. Uh, it's gone through some stages of underwriting. And think about when you're trying to purchase a home in a very competitive environment, when your realtor and lender can advocate for you to that seller mm -hmm. that you are pre-approved, you kind of feel like you got cash. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, if somebody's watching right now, they're starting the house hunting process. What are some questions, like we go to the doctor, we wanna have a list of questions. What mm -hmm. are some of the questions we should have when we start looking for a home? Right, you need to, you need to understand clearly what you can afford, mm -hmm. where, are areas that you're interested in. You need certain documents before you go and look at a home. Pre, you, you wanna look and see what the seller has disclosed about the property. Mm. You wanna look and see what detriments are around the property. Are there power lines? Are there, is it in a flood zone? Mm. Is it you know near a trash? Um, mountain, right. you know, things that can affect your value. It's most people's greatest financial um, asset that they have, so it's very important that you look very closely into yeah, it. Yeah, and kind of drive around and be really familiar with mm -hmm. the area before you. Prom. Yes. Schools. Schools. Restaurants, churches, synagogues, everything that's important to you outside of your little box. Mm -hmm. That is your community that will support you. What's important? We really wanted a high walkability area, so we knew, mm -hmm. you know, and schools. That was really important to that us. But what are some red flags? I know you mentioned a flood zone, things like right. that. But what? But when you're in the home, yes. what, what should you look for maybe aesthetically while you're there? Stop, look, and listen. Mm. Stop. Look, do you see power lines? Do you see, you know, uh, retention, detention ponds, smell? Do you smell things that mm. are off? Um, you know, mold and mildew, you know, those are the type of things you want to know. How old is the roof? How old are the systems? These are not things that you necessarily want to come into a home and have to have a big cash outlay. Sure. You know, look at the windows, look at deferred maintenance, all the kinds of things that you are going to walk in and all of a sudden you're going to and you're going to own those things that need to be done in the future. Okay, some food for thought there. Let's talk about closing costs. So we've we've been approved, we're in, we made the offer. Mm -hmm. What is a closing cost and what do we need to know about it? So people and that is a great question cuz people are like what's the difference between down payment and closing costs mm -hmm. cuz they're different buckets. Closing costs it used to be that they were approximately 3% of the loan, not the price of the house, the loan. Okay. That's not so much the case anymore because people are buying discount points. Mm. Just as with every industry in the world, prices have gone up. So if you buy discount points, if you're in a condo and you have to have condo mm. docks, if you're a well or a septic system, there are additional costs. Mm. So again, very important to connect with your lender when you're looking at a piece of property so that you know what are all my costs, appraisals, attorney's fees, you know, someone checking your social security, every bit of it it's going to be a closer to three and a half percent, maybe a little bit more. But again, that information is 
obtainable through your lender. Okay, I love that. Such good advice. I have a list of things I'm even calculating in my head. Okay, <laughs> what tips in it you do you have? You get to ask the yeah. questions twice. Okay, good. Good. What <laughs> tips do you have for someone still saving for their first home? Good for you, number yeah. one. The more that you can save, and while you're mm. saving in a parallel universe, what is important to you? What kind of drive time do you want? What do you want outside of your home? You know, sure. get that trusted advisor as a realtor and a lender. Um, make those, you know, interview them. Okay. Make sure it's a good fit. Interview, good fit. I love that. Such sound and great advice. Thank you, Annette, so much for Thank helping you. us out this morning. We loved having you. And there's more A&C right after this break.